Manhattan Project veteran Bill Wilcox describes how thoughtfully Oak Ridge was laid out and why it was such a remarkable place for the community. It was just an amazing place. Uh, it was farmland, you could tell that, but there was construction going on every, everywhere you looked. Uh, trucks and people just crawling all over the place, hammers and banging. Wooden structures going up everywhere. Uh, roads, uh, road machinery, nothing was paved. It was, there weren't any sidewalks. Or, Somebody, uh, bless their hearts, when they cut down all these darn trees to uh, put up a building or something, they had a sawmill and they used the uh, lumber to make sidewalks. Had uh, miles, 160 miles of boardwalks all over town. And Groves realized that it was important to have a, a feeling of a community where these scientists and engineers and top managers uh, and their spouses and their children would feel at home, uh, not like they were just uh, off in a terribly uh, temporary community. He wanted to, to have a feel of a normal uh, town, and that's why the, the, they did such a beautiful job on the layout of the community. And uh, People were r relatively happy. It was a great place to raise kids. And, uh, they had uh, neighborhood schools and neighborhood shopping centers. Uh, there were buses here, loads of them, but most people could walk to a shopping center where there was a grocery store, a beauty shop, a barber shop, uh, laundry, little strips, 12 of them all around the town. And there were nine elementary schools, so most kids could walk to school. So the town was... Uh, uh, was really a uh, remarkable place.